Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. This is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and this is a video showing off two modes that are coming up in the upcoming Resistance Live event, which starts on the 16th of July. Now, we're going to show you some footage from two of these different modes. There are three modes Camp Assault, Convoy Ambush, and Hostage Rescue. We're showing you two on this one. We're going to show you Convoy Ambush and we're also going to show you Camp Assault. So basically, in Camp Assault, which you can see first, um, what you have to do is you reach and talk to an outcast scout to begin with, and then you go and clear and secure a camp. Um, they kind of recommend Ubisoft themselves that you don't necessarily have to do this quietly. You can go in and just create absolute mayhem. Um, it doesn't really matter, so you don't have to go quiet, you can kind of do it how you like. Um, after that, you have to help the rebels defend the camp from sentinel assaults. And the more of these that you do, the more rebels appear and things like that. So it gets bigger and bigger the more of these missions you do. There are loads of missions in the live event, but they all fall under those three kind of categories. So joining me on today's video is Ikaragu, aka Dave. Um, Hello. And Dave and I had the pleasure of sitting down and playing this together. Um, and it's uh, right now, this is actually Dave in-game playing it whilst I was sitting there watching. Um, we had to create a new character from scratch. So if you're wondering why we haven't got all of our gear and weapons etc on this build, it's because they weren't available to us at the time. So Dave, um, talking about obviously Camp Assault, as we can see here, um, what did you think were the things that kind of stand out from this, uh, from this mode? What's the uh, standout kind of highlights? Uh, well, the good thing is that obviously when you start it, they, uh, the Rebels, the Resistance stays out of it until like you're actually spotted. So if you wanted to do it all silently, you can. But as soon as you're spotted, then they all come in to help you. So they, uh, they don't give you away. And as you can see, we're doing it with the AI. And the AI are also very good at keeping concealed until they want to be spotted. Okay, um, so... The AI, we, we, we think, is better than the Wildlands AI, don't we, in terms of being able to stay um, more stealthy. So that, I think that's why they've done this live event, is to is to kind of utilise AI as best as possible uh, without creating brand new missions for them, which I know a lot of people wanted, but they haven't done that. But the live event, obviously, is still a great way for to introduce your AI in terms of how best utilise them, uh, not as in the characters. That's what people wanted, but we haven't had that. Um, so you get into the camp, and once you have taken down the camp, what happens next? Um. Basically, it says, um, oh, obviously, enemy incoming, so you get about 30 seconds to a minute to set up, so obviously, to lay mines or whatever, whatever you want to do, set up in nice, secured locations. And then they normally come in with a couple waves of vehicles and normally supported by one helicopter. Okay, so, and as you go up and up and do more and more of these, these missions can get harder. Uh, you might find there's more vehicles, but as I said, the resistance uh, will start to become that you they, they get more and more of them so you'll notice them more as you move around the map you might see more you might see friendly helicopters in the skies which is very unusual um, and more friendly vehicles things like that that will be kind of like appearing around a rower the more and more of these that you complete um, Camp Assault is a really good mode. Um, it's going to be enjoyable. There, like I said, there's multiple ways to be able to do this. Um, you, if you like going in heavy, then this mode's perfect. But if you want to do the stealth, that's great. And obviously, you can do it on your own. You don't have to have AI teammates in there with you. You can turn them off. Um, so let's get on to Convoy Ambush now. So you should be watching some footage now from uh, some Convoy Ambush. So what? How, how did this kind of start out? I mean, I know that obviously at the beginning you talk to the scouts and um, you, that they're near where the convoys begin. And obviously the point is, is to set up ambushes for these convoys uh, before destroying them. So uh, how do you feel that the mission flow, how do you feel it worked? Uh, 
Yeah, it's good. Like I said, like you sort of the scout, and then they give you like they say there's convoys on its way, so then you start setting up an ambush. They normally put it at um, a choke point, and if the uh, convoy does get through, you have the option of grabbing a vehicle and just chasing them down. Which is ex yeah, that's what we were doing, weren't we? Chasing them down. And I'm going to be honest with you, destroying convoys is fun. Um, obviously, it reminds me of destroying convoys in Wildlands. But I'm going to be honest with you, chasing down convoys is more fun. Um, I actually prefer allowing them to get through and then chasing them down. It's just the action's a bit crazier. If you've obviously got people playing on with you, that will be a lot of fun. But the AI teammates did their job in this mission, didn't they? Oh, yeah, you watch them pummeling the crap out of them. It's so much fun. Uh, especially when they got their, at the moment, they've got like shotgun, machine gun, and sniper rifle. And watching all three different types of weapon being used against these convoys is hilarious. Yep, so that's all good. So basically, um, like I said, that, that's two of the kind of main events that are within this. Like I said, there are multiple missions, but they all break down within those three parameters. Um, which of these two did you find was your favourite? Um, I love the convoy one. The convoy it's one. So Just much fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's for me what Breakpoint's been missing since Wildlands. The, I liked some of the car chase stuff in Wildlands, going after targets, making sure they couldn't get away, things like that. So, and the convoys even. Um, the convoys in Breakpoint, not really the same. They're very, very easy to take down. Um, so, yeah, this, this has been a lot of fun. These are two really good modes that the replay uh, a kind of ability is definitely there. You could do these multiple ways, loads of different ways. You could, like I said, you can set up ambushes or you can just let them go past, chase them down, whatever you want. Um, but these are a really good addition to the game. Um, we are going to be showcasing uh, one of the others as well. Um, that will be coming up in a separate video where we, because that's a lot longer, we're going to let that one kind of just go free, talk, do a bit of talking at the beginning and allow you to watch the whole mission as it um, as it kind of plays out. Um, but there you go. Um, brilliant. Thanks. Thanks for your input, Dave. That's excellent. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, that is just two of the modes in the game. Like I said, Resistance goes live on the 16th of July. You don't want to miss this one. Um, the, the update obviously is on the 15th of July. It's a big update. Um, we've got a video out about the patch notes now, which will cover every bit of detail in the game. So check that one out if you want to. Thank you so much to all our recent subscribers. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep.